All right, well, it has been a downright miserable day for all, most of us across the UP. Winds have been anywhere between 10 to 20 miles per hour. Wind chills close to negative 15, negative 20 degrees, and just standing outside, uh, it's not fun one bit. But we do still have a winter storm warning in effect for Alger County. That is until 7 p.m. Uh, the winter weather advisory you see on here for Marquette, that actually expired at 4 p.m. So not really having any effects from that right now. But as we head into the evening, we'll continue to notice a decrease in the snow, even for us in Alger County, and also also beginning to notice maybe a partly cloudy sky for just a short while in time before more clouds come back in in front of our next disturbance that looks to enter by sometime tomorrow. So let's take a look at what's happening right here. You can see right here across portions of uh, central UP, more of that lake effect snow beginning to fall. Uh, that will decrease as we head into the evening. And it looks like for a lot of us tonight is going to be a very cold evening. Right now we are at 5 degrees. That is it. West Northwest winds at 12 miles per hour and real field temperatures. Yeah, well below zero for us. 5 degrees in Marquette and more of that chilly air off to the west where a few of us are barely getting above zero at 1 degree in Ontonagon, 3 degrees in Houghton down at in Crystal Falls and Florence. Uh, you guys are at 8 and Menominee. You are also at 8 degrees and for us off to the east, hey, 5 degrees in Munising, 10 degrees in Escanaba and at 5 in Ishpeming. But let's take a look at wind. They're coming in from the northwest at 13 in Houghton, 14 in Iron Mountain. Earlier this morning, they were closer to 20, so uh, a bit of improvement with that right there, and we'll continue to see winds die off as we head into the evening. And as we wake up tomorrow morning, it'll start to shift around. Not going to quite be that breezy for us, but uh, later on during Friday afternoon, that's when winds will start to come back around 5 to 15 miles per hour in current temperatures across the state, single digits across the UP. Even right at zero into Sault Ste. Marie, one degree in Gaylord and farther south, seeing more of those teens in Grand Rapids and also in Lansing. And here a look at your current wind chills. 12 below in Marquette, 5 below in Escanaba, 17 below in Sault Ste. Marie. Very chilly stuff here. Nothing to play with. So if you're going to be heading outside tonight, uh, make sure that you do dress warmly and have a lot of layers on. So let's take a look at your headlines. Well below average temperatures tonight as a lot of us will fall into the teens below zero. Another round of light snow comes in as we head into our Friday. Friday afternoon, we'll be looking out for it. What looks to be around a half of inch to an inch of snow with that. And then behind that, we'll see more lake effect snow with the Arctic air that will push its way in heading into Friday night. And definitely it'll be in, in place for us as we head throughout the weekend. You'll see that coming up in the seven day forecast. But if you didn't like today, I don't think you're going to like what's coming up for Saturday and also for Sunday. But a lot of Arctic air in place across the UP and the northern Great Lakes. That air will continue to work its way south and eastward. Uh, we'll get a slight relief as we head into Friday as high pressure pushes just off to our east. That will bring in more of that southwesterly flow. And then we'll be expecting more of that snow to work its in as well. Tonight you can see a few areas of partly cloudy skies, but then really beginning to cloud back up as we work into Friday. There goes that light snow that pushes through a very light stuff, but then behind that, seeing that lake effect snow begins yet again. Very cold there in place, pushing as well below zero as we head into Friday night and definitely for Saturday night. Temps will struggle to get out of the negative digits as we head into Saturday. Here's a look at tonight's forecast. Negative nine degrees for your overnight low, mostly cloudy and frigid out there. Winds are expected to lighten up and as we head into Friday, we'll see them between 5 to 15 miles per hour coming in from the southwest. Not, not as cold for us, so a bit of a reprieve from what we've been dealing with at 19 degrees for your high in Launce at 21 in Ontonagon, 22 for us in Crystal Falls, and we'll call for the upper teens in Marquette and at 20 degrees in Escanaba. That will surely feel balmy to us, but tomorrow morning it's going to be chilly. 4 degrees below zero for your bust out forecast, and for your 7 day forecast, 18 for us on Friday. Saturday, there it goes right there. Only a high of zero degrees, dropping to right around eight below for your morning low. Uh, seeing more of that light lake effect snow continuing on, and then most of that moisture should be out of here by Sunday with only a few light flurries left over, a high of five. And then look at the beginning of next work week. We get out of the freezer, back into the teens on Monday for your President's Day, and also as you head into Tuesday, it looks like we'll see some light snow with highs in the lower teens.